this. Hello, Bozeman. <laughs> and Steve. We, living in Bozeman, we better be ready for snow anytime. We will get the snow dump. We will have, uh, you know, crazy black ice like last day. Thank you all who braved that last night and this night. And however you do deal with the winter, I like to take it in stride. I grew up in Slovakia, and my mom and her parents are from Little Village, which was named after a ski brand. Actually, maybe the other way around. Or Honestly, it was, they were both named after a beautiful rock formation, which are nearby. And when I was a little kid, my dad would take us, me and my older brother, skiing so that he can have fun. But we never went cross-country skiing because, in his words, translated from Slovakian to English, that is just unnecessarily hard work and who in their right mind would want to do that. <laughs> but in high school, we had mandatory ski trip. For one week, we went downhill skiing. And here I am sporting an amazing style. <laughs> I keep it. I, I still do it on the slopes. I had to turn the slide picture so it looks like I'm going downhill. But we had one day where we had to cross-country ski, and that day everybody tried to dodge, including our teachers, because we all agreed that it's just meaningless, boring, and unnecessarily hard work. And just let the lifts do the work and have fun. Let the gravity help you have fun, right? But here I learned that you can defy gravity, and you can actually slide the other way. Any Nordic skiers out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I started Nordic skiing to keep up with my son. But at that time, cross-country skiing was incredibly intimidating. I, my first trip, I almost died, like just doing a couple yards around loop. And it wasn't until I met Chad Anderson. I was skiing uphill, dying, and a bunch of kids zoomed by me, and Chad Anderson behind them threw an offhand comment, this, this is an easy hill. <laughs> he kind of had me hooked with that sentence. And I joined BSF training, master's training, and uh, he was, happened to be our coach that year, and I learned some sick technique. <laughs> and I, from that day on, I have a little mantra that gets me pretty much any uphill. Just dance. If you think about perfection of your stride, it just gets easier. Put down your foot, just a ski, just so. Align the body and push off. And you get this brief moment of actually gliding effortlessly uphill. And from then on, like, I, take, I like skiing. It's the way to enjoy winter, have fun, especially with good friends. And here we are practicing some special ski moves. <laughs> and Eventually, I even started racing. Usually, it was just to be social, have fun, you know, hang out in a cabin. And then I didn't want it to just stand on the sidelines, so I joined the race because I really hate standing on the sidelines. And my favorite race is Western Rendezvous, which is really fun because it starts with a, each wave starts with a shot from a cannon. And a couple of years ago, I was in Europe, and I just got back, and I still wanted to be social, so I joined my friends in a ski race, but I was completely out of shape. And I tried to train, so I skied about three times before that, the race. Kind of quickies, two miles here and there. Once I managed to do a whooping four-mile ski trip, and decided that I might not die if I sign up for 10K race. And that year, I got the most amazing number you can get in Montana. <laughs> and I won a gold medal. <laughs> a 
Well, in fact, I'm actually not really in shape. All I ever do, I can't even keep up with anybody. I'm just pretending. I can't even keep up with these ladies during our carb loading dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but they are the ones who actually sweep the medals. <laughs> And while I have this podium, I would like to say a huge thank you to the lady who kind of organizes everything and who is responsible for my love for this sport, Sandy Knapp. And I decided that I need to have some puppy pictures in my presentation, so here she is, a highlight. And one year she told me about her friend who recently passed away and how everybody knows him by his fun antiques and how he entertained his, their, his friends and he could do headstands. So I appropriated his special move to honor my own friends. And here is another one of amazing ladies who keeps me in shape and drags me out whenever I don't feel like it. Uh, Lizanne, she even gets me to her Pilates studios to whip me up a little bit to shape. And I urge you all, like this winter, have fun, rent skis, rent a cabin, take some lessons, go ski out there. And even my dad eventually caved in when he came to Montana. And this is technically Wyoming, but anyway. <laughs> it's our backyard, have fun, and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you.